here I am just taking it apart to have a look myself as per instructions from the motion support. So this is a first look inside one of these units for myself. That's what your Luba looks like. It's actually very tidy in here. Doesn't appear to be any water leak or anything like that. And it looks as though, so the stop button that I was concerned about is here. That puts it here. And I cannot see any water ingress at all in there. So that's looking good. It looks very good in there. So that's the inside. They want me to check this one and this one. Now, to all intents and purposes, that looks seated to me. Um, and this one looks seated to me. Um, so have a little look. Can I actually push it down any more? Maybe marginally. Let's disconnect it. It's looking good. And let's see if I can just click it back into position. That's a clicky noise. Can we get any further than that? And then this one, it is there. And that definitely won't go down anymore, but I'll just pull it out. And then put it back in position again. That is that. Hmm. There's this bit of ribbon here. Bit of loose ribbon here. Just covering over that part. Okay, push that back down. Can't see anything obvious. So just out of interest sake, that's the, it's interesting, isn't it? And that goes up and down. These. This is what is sliding up and down in. So up and down that, that's interesting that this would be here. It's an interesting little piece of cable running right next to where it goes up and down. That runs into here. Um, yeah, a bit strange that. I'm just going to tuck that around this way, like so. Um, moisture in here, look, all up in here, but that is before this threshold. So there's loads of moisture in there but none in the areas that actually matter by the looks. So aside from that, I don't really know. There's, there's free movement on these. There's no problem there. Everything just looks good. Um, look at that. Plastic cog there. Hmm, which is a gearbox of some description, which presumably is powered by that motor. A nylon cog or something like that. But anyway, those go up and down. They're greased. Don't know is the answer to that question. So they're plugged in and I'll put them back together, I guess, and retest, but I've done nothing. So I might just write back to motion first and then come back to you whilst I was here. Uh, took off the snapped one from the last time it went in from repair, which is just held on with uh, like that. And with two of those, but of course you have to take the body off to get to it. If anyone's curious of how that's held on, it's quite a neat idea because it keeps it protected, and as in the screws. So yeah, hmm. and that's the new one that they've uh, sent me to replace it. Cool. So here we go, we're gonna test it for the, uh, I would say the first time, but it's not. And we'll just see how we get on once it gets up to the start point, which is up there. Okay, so it's all on this. If this starts making a noise, it's gonna work once it stops. Yes. That's lowering, definitely. Woohoo! It looks like it is actually fixed. Yes, there we go. All fixed, people. Back on the road again. 
I mean, it's fairly wintry, but I'll let it do its, I've had to reset up all the maps, all the pathways, everything. Um, but I'll let it do its thing, just to make sure it does a full cut. It's way too mucky and wet, but we'll let it do its thing, just to make 100% sure. But yeah, I'm pretty confident at this stage that's sorted now. Um, I will update you whether or not it goes wrong again. As always, it lasted, I say, about two and a half, three months. It ended up in that state, uh, but now it's now it's fixed. So we'll see.